All right, we're on. Here we go, night, th night three. Four? Night three. Four? Night four, right? Hey, Andrew. Hey, Sherling family. Hey, Amit. Glad to see the Sterling family is doing okay with uh, everything going on in Boston right now. Or going on in Tampa Bay, I guess I should say. Well, everybody, thanks for joining us tonight. Bonus points, anybody who could tell me who this is. Adults, no cheating. This is straight out of Mr. Salerno's childhood. Any guesses? I'll leave him up there. I don't have a good place to put him. There's no place I could really set him. Yes, Mr. Burchler. One of the enemy. Which, which Animaniac? Which of the Warner Brothers is it? Mm, guess again. <laughs> hey, Dami. Yeah, tough for all Boston sports fans right now, but you had a pretty good run for the last 20 years, so I think you could take it. <laughs> I don't think there's a Rocco. <laughs> uh, there's Yakko. He's the tall one. This is Wacko, the one who sounds like Ringo Starr. He was a beetle. He's still a beetle, I guess. Uh, and then there was Dot, the Warner sister. I heard that they're rebooting this cartoon, which if you go, even if you go back and watch it now as an older person, it definitely holds up. We had the poll going uh, since yesterday. Do we want to watch a movie or do we want to watch bloopers? We'll get to that in just a second. As soon as we get some more people in, we'll reveal the, the results of that. Rocco. Definitely not an Animaniac. Hey, Jada. There's also some different features I could do here while I'm live streaming that I never knew about before. Like, I could ask questions. I could turn on filters. But that's... No. No. Oh, this is creepy. I'm going to pass on this one. All right, this is like from the Take On Me video. I'm going to walk into the milk aisle. What's it? Oh, look, it's the sun. That's that's neat. Hello. Ha! Huh. I'm a rabbit. Are my teeth really that white, or is that the filter? This is this is very engaging. I should just do this. Kids, fun fact: right around this time in the live stream, the audio just decided to stop working. Uh, thanks to Natalie for catching that, but I guess I was just using too many filters. I was having too much fun. So now I've got like 30 seconds worth of time to fill until the audio comes back on. So, um, has it been 30 seconds yet? No. I should just do this. No. no. All right, we're there. Back to the show. These are very glitchy things. I wish I knew about these fil filters when we made the glitch last year. Could use some of these. Whoa! All right, that's just obnoxious. Aw, thanks, guys. Dami says she can't hear anything. Anybody else? Can anybody else not hear me? It's a great way to get a response. Can anybody else not hear me? Can anybody hear me? That's a better question. Can you hear me tonight? Okay, maybe it was just the filters. I'll, I'll stay off of those. All right. Good. Thank you. So I just spent like 30 seconds making a fool of myself trying on different filters and couldn't even hear what I was saying. All right. Good to know. Maybe I was just mumbling. I tend to do that. Those of you who have been in my class before know that. Hey, Rylan, I don't remember if I already said hello. Okay, good. All right, so no more filters. Or maybe no more mumbling. Hey, Sydney. Sydney, do you count out the number of eyes that you use in the word hi, or is it just like random? You stop when you feel like you're done. I feel like you have a set number of eyes that you always try to reach. I can't count how many that is right now. Definitely over 10. All right, so I think we'll start getting to it. Um, just to, oh, random. All right, I stand corrected. There's a random number of eyes. 
Um, just a couple things before we get started. I think today, I haven't checked my email in the past few hours, but I think today uh, your, you or your parents, or maybe you and your parents, um, I think middle school, might have, middle school and high school might have been included on this too. Uh, middle school, high school, and parents, I think we're getting an email today from the district with information about distance learning. Um, that probably came to you today or to your parents' email today. Um, giving you some things to do, some instructions to follow. Hey, Miss Bogan, joining us today, GVHS Library. If you don't follow that already, please do. A lot of good stuff. She's much more versed in TikToks than I am. Anna Shadel, good to see you. I watched your movie last night. Uh, which brings me to one of my next points. If you were hoping to see one of your movies and you missed out, I do add the... Uh, I, uh, so I'll add this tonight to the story in Instagram, but you know that only stays around for 24 hours. Um, so I've been taking these videos and uploading them to the KDM Library Facebook page, which I know, I know Facebook is for old people, um, but if you get your parents to sign up on there or if they already follow there, you can watch any of the other rewatches that we've already done. Um, so Facebook, and if you just search up KDM Library... You should find it pretty quick. All the other rewatches that we've done are up there. Just want to make sure I say that. Yes, I, I know Facebook is for old people. That's fine. I'm old people. That's all right. Uh, a couple other th other things to watch. Um, Josh Gad, who is the voice of Olaf, has been doing read alouds on Twitter. I think he just started tonight was his first one at seven o'clock. I I got to catch it real quick. Um, I think he read the Gruffalo tonight. Uh, Josh Gad, hysterical person. Check those out. Mo Willems has been doing some fun stuff every day at, I think it's noon. He calls it draw, I think it's called draw at lunch or lunchtime doodles or lunchtime drawing or something like that with Mo. So he's been doing some cool stuff. You could check that out 12 o'clock daily. I've been seeing links for Facebook, but it's through the, the Kennedy Center. So if you go to their website, you can find it there as well. All right, so for tonight, all right. We had a movie versus blooper vote. And it was straight up pick one or the other. So I'm going to try to embed. I think I could do this. I think I can, I think I can embed the results right here in the, in the live feed. Let's see if this works. Here are the results from the vote. Movie versus blooper. Hey, it worked. So Blooper, with 76% of the vote, got the votes, votes. But hang on, if you voted for movie, don't go anywhere yet. Stay right there. Uh, because, yeah, Blooper's got the most of the votes, but you know what? It's important to hear the minority vote, too. So today, we're going to give uh, the minority vote the choice. 24% for movie. We're going to watch a movie tonight. I used to do this when I was a classroom teacher sometimes, too. Um, Majority doesn't always rule, or shouldn't always rule, anyway. So I'll go back to that in a minute, if I can figure out how to leave that out of there. Um, so since you guys are all in the chat tonight, um, I'm going to let you vote live about which movie you want to watch. And you could just drop that right in the comments here. Yes, I know. See, Miss Bogan, people are taking a little bit longer to get in tonight, so I started pressing around, playing with buttons. So I think it just pulls up your, I think this is my camera feed, my camera roll, I think. <laughs> I don't know about that, Donnie, but <laughs> thank you. All right, so here are your choices. I don't think I can zoom in on this. I'm going to try to without breaking anything. I can zoom in on me. Nope, I can't zoom in on that. So your choices are here, Field Day, Time Turners, Heart and Soul, Missing Things, Holiday Party, and The Glitch. So you've got two, four, six different movies to choose from. Uh, drop your choice in the comments. I'll do my best to count them up and make majority rule. See, this is where it's beneficial to not have like 100 viewers at a time like Miss Bogan gets. I see one for Field Day, Holiday Party, Glitch, Heart and Soul. <laughs> Great. You're all over the place, guys. Very helpful. Uh, I need to see another one for Holiday Party. Um, 
holiday party, glitch. Hey, Molly. Um, rewatch MacGuffin. No, not rewatching the MacGuffin. All right, any last minute joiners, you get one last chance to vote. Bloopers one up, but we're giving the minority vote the win tonight. We're watching a movie. Choose from... I can't even see what's up there. Field Day, Time Turners, both from 2016. We've got Heart and Soul from 2017, Missing Things from 2018, and both of last year's movie, Holiday Party and The Glitch. Dami, if you can get them to come on and vote in the next 10 seconds, go for it. I don't know if it's going to happen, though. It's looking like Holiday Party had the most amount of votes. Hey, Cameron. One more for Glitch. Uh, all right, I'm going to close the voting in five, four, three, two, one and a half, three quarters. All right, holiday party it is, folks. Uh, give me just a second to get this queued up here. So because this was a last minute vote, I definitely didn't rewatch this uh, today. But this should be one of the freshest in my mind since it was only last year. Let me rewind there back to the beginning. How's everybody doing today? You all doing well? I'm doing pretty well. Mrs. Salerno and I went for a walk today. Walked around the neighborhood. Kept a safe distance from all the neighbors. Hey, Rohan. It's all right. You're just in time. Just getting started. All right, here we go. Uh, for those of you just joining us, um, we saw earlier that the vote easily was in favor of bloopers, but we're going with minority vote tonight. So we're going to watch The Holiday Party, and that was voted on by everybody in the chat. Again, if volume's not working, just let me know. Drop something in the comments there. And I'm not done talking yet. Why am I turning it over? I'm not done talking yet. Um, I will be soon. Uh, and if you have questions while we watch or comments, just throw them in there. Otherwise, I'm just going to talk about random stuff that I remember from this movie. That's a fun one. I like the choice tonight. Although I would have said that for any choice. Here we go. So Holiday Party is based on uh, National Lampoon's Christmas Vacation. Let's make a mess with the color there. There we go. Hey, Luke. If you haven't seen Christmas Vacation, ask your parents' permission, then go watch it. This is a great cast from top to bottom. Right? Of course, but you're going to need a lot of everyone. There will be a meeting held for anyone interested in help planning. Props to Mrs. Conti for letting us raid her room for all of for all of uh, filming the holiday party. You'll see it gradually turn into a fully decorated classroom, which she and her students put up with for a few months. Scratch that. Let's get Gutbuster Pizza from Anthony's. Ten boxes of pretzels. Oh, I miss Anthony's and right now. Hot chocolate fountain. Isn't that a bit much? Rusty, would you like mine for decorations? Miss Hughes has some old lights that have been hang up, and we can make some of those paper snowflakes. Uh, so the classroom, Rylan, what classrooms was this filmed in? This is the library, obviously. Medium 
Um, we also filmed in Mrs. Conti's room in first grade, Mr. Jones's office, like we do every year. That might be it. <laughs> I need an EE Hall pass because I need to wash my hands. <laughs> I'll look so young. Well, you're what? About a little over a year younger in this? We filmed this in November, December of 2018. So, like, not quite a year and a half. <laughs> Lily's direction here for me was do the impre impression of your mother that you always do. She was a little reluctant at first, but then she did it. <laughs> You're not alone there, Donnie. 14,000 books and nothing to read. So in National Lampoon's Christmas Vacation, uh, Chevy Chase plays Clark Griswold, who wants nothing more than to throw the perfect uh, Christmas celebration for him, his side of the family, his kids, his wife's side of the family. And in our movie, this Clark, played by Natalie, Clark wants to throw a great holiday party for her class because it's fifth grade, it's their last holiday party. She wants to make it epic. And in both movies, everything goes horribly wrong in the best way possible. Freeman, get me somebody on the phone. Now, and get me somebody else while I wait. Giant snowflakes, got some Christmas lights. Uh, you mean second best, right, Sydney? That's okay. I understand the typo. Second best is what you meant. Do you mind? We're trying to think a spelling test here. Can you spell Miser, Ebenezer, Grinch? Is that some school card? St. Nicholas is hot in here. The only thing worse than all this holiday spirit is some cold weather. What is the name of Captain Dinosaur? Are you doing in this? Like Margo and Maud, in place of Margo and Todd. We're decorating for our holiday party. That's right. Clark let us help bring the whole thing. Then she fixed all the bad ideas we had. <laughs> Eddie, can you do me a big favor and sign me two rolls of left-handed wrapping paper? We'll be, be nice, Sydney. I'll have to ban you. You're planning the holiday party? Well, I guess on that day we can turn the down. Why? Because anything you plant is sure you're going to be a principal. Sculpture is on order and will be delivered tomorrow morning before the party. Excellent. Catherine, food update? Well, there's a slight problem with the food. What is that? We can't have any. What? New school policy, with one exception. Prep some lots. <sighs> Mom's gonna be upset. She was making an extra special batch for famous pickle bars with extra milk, peanuts, eggs, gluten. Audrey, <laughs> please tell me you have better news. All the things people are allergic to. Mostly. Mostly. Some kids went to ask Miss Bethany if they could use some books from the classroom library for the book exchange. She thought they were asking her to be a chaperone for the party. Miss Bethany? She's like a hundred years old. She's been here forever. The district even tried to make her a child, making her teach fifth grade. She doesn't even really she's not a kindergarten teacher anymore. 
it gets worse. Worse? We're in the threshold of disaster. How could this get worse? She's bringing in our classroom aide, Miss Lewis, with her. That woman is angrier than a feeling of dog trying to bury a bone in an acid pond. For crying out loud. Heart, it's going to be fine. Fine isn't good enough, Ellen. Now you've all done your best up to this point. Now I want you to ask yourselves, is there anything you could do to make this party a more memorable one? If yes, then do it. If no, then think harder. Everybody did a great job in this movie, but Natalie had, I think, she counted. I don't know what the number was, but she by far had the most lines to memorize and she nailed every one of them. Yeah, nothing I can do about the food, guys. Sorry, I feel your pain, though. Awesome way to get us into our winter break. Okay, sure. I have to spring that up tomorrow. Thanks, Miss Sterling. And if I don't see you, Merry Christmas. Happy Hanukkah. Happy Diwali. Joyous Kwanzaa. Happy Ramadan. Glucolis Krampusnacht. <laughs> Happy Festivus. Glucolis Krampusnacht. I think we did all, did we do all of this in one day? No, we, huh, maybe we did. Guys, guys, I, guys, I ordered those hats for pro, for costume before they were ever popular. Just saying. Yeah, it's Festivus for the Seinfeld fans out there. These lines are lifted straight from the movie because sometimes you just don't mess with perfection. A lot of great laughs in this one. What's wrong? She wrapped up her kitchen utensils. <laughs> what, kids don't like getting meat tenderizers as gifts? Coyote coming up. Oh, no. Tracking up, it says it's been delivered to room 14. Oh, hey, Alicia. Marvel and Mod Plaster. Oh, no. This <laughs> is the most high tech we've ever gotten with any of these movies. Would you like to say Grace? What, dear? Grace. Grace, you will get your fat on taking Grace. They want you to say Grace. Oh, absolutely the best scene. Amen. So Cousin Eddie's turtleneck in the movie is not actually a turtleneck. It's something called a dicky. It's a turtleneck, and that's about it. It's not like a full shirt. It's just to give the impression that you're wearing a turtleneck. And yes, what Lily has here is a dicky. Um, in Christmas Vacation, if you look while he's wearing that dicky, he's wearing a black dicky under a white sweater, and you could see the outline of the black dicky underneath the white sweater. One of my favorite things about that movie. We had a lot of fun filming this scene. The, pre the pretzel rod eating, I think we did three times, and I don't think I've ever struggled so hard to keep a straight face.
<laughs> no, she did not really eat the beetle. No animals were harmed in the making of this movie. <laughs> Lots of pretzel rods. Many, many. I'm here to I'm, I'm here to announce a special announcement. <laughs> I would have been here earlier, but my meeting meeting ran late. I know this party hasn't been everything we hoped it would be. You hoped it would be. But this, this is the official location of our fifth grade class field trip. Oh, how can you tell? I may have convinced Mrs. Shirley to give an announcement during the party. Cool, that's awesome. I wonder where we're going. Hershey Bar, Six Flags, the beach. Mm. The beach would be perfect. Jelly the month? I know that, Eddie. <laughs> Maybe. Ripping sound effects. If any of you are considering any last minute gift ideas for me, I can tell you one. I'd like to see Mrs. <laughs> Shirley right here with a big ribbon on her head. And I'd like to tell her what a cheap, lying, no good, uh, kids. If Clark got one lump of coal for every word you ain't supposed to say in school, well, she would have put a power furnace until the geese fly back north. It's probably best you didn't hear the words Clark used to describe Mrs. Shirley, so instead, enjoy this clip of a cat chasing a laser pointer. Uh, these are Mrs. Salerno's cats. Not my cats, I don't have any cats. Mrs. Salerno has two cats. Uh, Mac and Murphy. I can't actually see which is which. That's Mac on the left and Murphy on the right. Okay, she should be done now. Rotten lump of coal she is! Hallelujah! Where's the Tylenol? Oh, Christmas. <laughs> Uh, Miss Hughes, named after John Hughes, who wrote Christmas Vacation, uh, also wrote and directed The Breakfast Club, Sixteen Candles, a lot of classic 80s movies. He wrote Christmas Vacation, did not direct it, though. I don't remember who directed Christmas Vacation. I'd have to IMDb that. He cupped his hands around his mouth. Merry Christmas. Classic read aloud. The Polar Express let out a loud blast from his whistle and sped away. On Christmas morning, my little sister Sarah and I opened our presents. And when it looked as if everything I did on that, she found one last small box behind the tree. It had my name on it. Inside was Eddie and Mrs. Shirley with ribbon tied around her wrists and ankles. 
<laughs> uh, we did use two hats, one that Clark got to wear and another that was only for putting in Aditi's mouth in this scene. We then threw it away. <laughs> I forgot that's what they sing. Classic second grade concert. Solid performance. You're still here. Credit where credit is due. All right, that's our movie for tonight, everybody. Let's see if I can get some light back up here. Uh, I guess that's pretty good. All right, so that makes what? Three, four, five, six movies we've gone through now. Plenty more to get, plenty more to go, plenty to get us through the next week or so. Um, after that, I don't know, maybe we'll be back in school, maybe, maybe we won't. But if you have any other ideas, I, I'm at the point where I'm ready to start taking some other ideas um, for how we could spend this this half hour. Um, I don't want to commit myself to nightly, but so far I've been able to keep up, so that's pretty good. Somebody mentioned yesterday maybe putting on some of the fifth grade musicals. Um, I'll see if we can make that happen. Can we do glitch next? Uh, we might be able to do the glitch next. I haven't decided how we'll do uh, tomorrow's vote or the next vote. Bloopers. Yeah, there were a lot of votes for bloopers. Maybe we should do a bloopers tomorrow. I don't know. I'll see. I think I have a couple. Um, I know I have at least the last two years of bloopers on the YouTube page. I'll see if I can find anything else after that. And yeah, we are monsters. I don't think I have. Vote for Field Day. The soundtrack to the song. Uh, Heart and Soul. You can put Heart and Soul up next. Cameo by Mr. Ellis in that one. I think that might be the first and only adult actor we've had on a script screen movie. I don't think we've ever had another adult in script to screen. Mr. Ellis might have been the first and only. He prepared hard for that role too. And 
If We Are Monsters is on Spotify, I bet you that all the soundtracks from, what's the name of that company? I think it's Beat by Beat that Mr. Simpkins gets those musicals from every year. They're probably all on there. All right, everybody, I think I'm just about ready to sign off. Um, make sure you tune in to Mrs. Bogan at 9 o'clock. Miss Bogan at 9 o'clock, she'll be doing a read aloud on the high school library feed, GVHS Library. Make sure you give that a follow. Um, oh, I also saw that Mr. Search uploaded Mary Poppins to his YouTube channel. So if you're looking for some musicals, go ahead and check that out. That was a great show as well. I don't know which night it's from. Um, but that's up there now as well. If you want to watch any of these script to screen movies uh, on your own before the before the next rewatch, you can find them at uh, the KDM. It's there's so many different ones. I think yeah, they're all so they're all on the uh, the Great Valley KDM YouTube channel. If you just go on YouTube and search GVTV KDM, you'll find it. I think it might be linked on my librarian website. I'm not positive. Can't be positive. Um, I could post that too. I'm falling behind here on comments. So much fun, fun to get. Yes, thank you for watching. Oh, there's no such thing as mistakes in theater meet, right? Only opportunities. <laughs> Still pop off, see? All right, I think I'm caught up. All right, guys. Uh, hope you're all having fun. Hope you're all staying safe. Hope you're all staying inside. Stay inside. Stay safe. Uh, keep doing stuff like this. Stay connected, though. Hope you're all doing well. Enjoy the rest of your night, guys. See you tomorrow.